Hello, everybody. How you doing? Uh, I am back in the garage. We just got back from a singing competition. Uh, I am ecstatic to say that my son won a, in his age group, and he will be going to Indianapolis for uh, a state competition. Uh, on the way back, I swung into the hardware store, and I picked up some bolts. These are two and a half inch, uh, or actually they're two and three quarter inches long. Uh, they are 10 millimeters, coarse thread, and they fit perfectly uh, in the um, tray for the winch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by removing that board right there from the wall. Actually, I'm going to start off by marking my holes, drilling them, then I'll remove it and bolt it from the backside and put it back on the wall. So I'll come back and show you what I got when I got it down. All right, guys, I got the board down. I've got it here on the back of the trailer and I've got the winch mounted to it. So I'm ready to go ahead and reattach it. Got the winch installed on the back wall. I've tested it, it works great. Next up, we just need to get the trailer moved into position and properly positioned so that it doesn't tear the wall up as it moves up onto the wall. Hey guys, I had to take a little break and go to a soccer game, but I'm back working. Uh, haven't quite got it all figured out yet, but let me show you right over here what I've got. I've built these chalks that go behind the wheels. There's one on each side. And whenever I start the, the uh, you can see the cable running up to the winch. When I start the winch, it'll lift the winch up, the tires stay in place, and the trailer begins to lift. The problem is I'm too far away from the wall, which isn't an issue. All I need to do is shorten these. What I'm getting ready to do is build something to mount right here. It'll, it'll just basically be a 2x4, a 2x4, and probably three 2x4s between them that I'll screw into this uh, header plate here. And that way this can lay against it. Um, and that it'll keep it from hitting the wall. At that point, I'll be able to start adjusting this back uh, to the proper distance. I'll go ahead and take it all the way up, uh, and then I'll find out how much needs to be cut off of these, and I'll do that. But let me show you, it's actually, it's actually working. Well, <laughs> I've got it unplugged. I do promise I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, when I get a little farther along. But uh, right now I'm gonna start working on those little the, the braces to protect the wall. Uh, taking a lot of time, but uh, it's gonna be worth it. Well, it's time to call it a night. I'm gonna show you where I got to. I didn't finish, but I'm getting closer. And uh, I think it'll start to make a little more sense as to what I'm doing here. Let me show you. I've got these large chocks that the wheels will bump against and the chalk slides right into the side of this, this brace here. See? So that way I can remove these once it's up on end and I don't have to deal with them sticking out in the middle of the floor. Now what'll happen is, you'll notice my wheel is right here and my trailer is here. So the trailer is much more narrow than the wheelbase. So the way I designed this is I'll stick another piece of wood in here, which I haven't cut yet, It'll come out about 20 inches, okay? When the trailer tips up, this part of the trailer will land on that wood. This part of the trailer will go into this pocket, and that'll keep it from damaging the wall. Up top, that bottom uh, board is where the, the handle right here of the trailer should hit. Now, I think I may have a little bit of an issue because I've raised this up uh, an, inch and, an inch and three quarter with the two by four, uh, the handle's gonna be a little taller now. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work. I know one thing for sure, I'm not gonna move that up. <laughs> but I may, I may just take it up as far as I can and then chain it uh, and let it go from there. I, I don't know, I'm gonna see what happens when I raise it. Uh, I have raised it up and down a couple of times, not all the way because uh, my chocks the ones that mount against the wall need to be shortened and I'm not sure how much I needed to get these cradles made and then I need to make the pieces for the trailer to set on so that I can get it up on end and then I can adjust it in and out toward the wall and trim these up a little bit. I've had it for the night though. I, I'm pooped. Um, <laughs> I'm just flat out wore out. So I'm going to call it quits and uh, we'll pick this back up sometime during the day tomorrow. Take care everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.